what is up you guys welcome back to time to queen you already clicked on the video so you already know what we're about to watch i'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it as you can see i'm mixing my water to go ahead and wash these bundles i'm just using some basic botanical shampoo nothing special so I actually washed this hair before I brought it inside the house because I didn't want to bring the package in because COVID-19, you know? Okay. Well, I'm only going to be showing you guys the frontal during this video. And I am going to be using a 5x5 five five, three-part. Um, it is Brazilian straight hair. And I also got three bundles yeah. with it in 18 inch 20 inch and 22 inch and this frontal is 18 inches long i'm just going to be showing you guys how i dye my knots because look at it it needs it see so after i'm done washing it i'm just going to hang it on a clothes hanger with some clothes pins to dry until i'm ready to dye the knots Okay, now we're ready to actually bleach. Here's what you're going to need. Some BW powder 2, BW2 powder. Some developer. I wouldn't recommend anything stronger than a 20, which is standard lift. Some purple shampoo. I use the shimmer lights for blonde and silver. Some type of plastic container to mix i'm using a metal butter knife you can use a brush you can use a tongue depressor whatever some aluminum foil a comb and some type of device to hold the hair a clip a pin something and of course you're going to need your frontal so to get started, I'm going to lay out some of the aluminum foil. You don't need a whole lot because you're not going to actually cover this like you would with regular, regular highlights. So I'm only using maybe about 10 inches um, of the aluminum foil. So once I get the aluminum foil all laid out, I'm going to go ahead and actually mix my bleach together. I am using the BW2 powder, but you don't really have to use this specific brand. It's just the one that I prefer. So I'm going to mix this. I have been dyeing my own hair in my bundles for a while. So I can pretty much eye this, but I would say it's maybe about two of the scoops that come in the bucket of the powder. About two of the scoops. And then I'm going to grab my developer, shake that up, shake, 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 shake. And I'm going to pour that in to the powder. Now here, you want to make sure that you don't get too thin of a consistency. You want it to be very pasty, very thick, and almost like toothpaste. Because if it's too runny, it's going to bleed through the knots and actually dye the hair. You're not trying to dye your hair. You're trying to bleach the knots to make it look more natural. So you don't want it to bleed through. So I'm going to show you guys what the consistency is that I like. In just a second here, once I get it all mixed up. As you see, it's not even dripping off of the knife. But it could stand to be a little bit thinner. So I am going to add just a little bit more of the developer just a touch and then once i get it all mixed up i'm going to check again and that's almost perfect i really think it could have been a little bit more thin but better be safe than sorry like i said we're not dying the hair we're just dying the lace so here again i'm showing you exactly what we are going to be doing is Taking away all those knots, like that looks very wiggy and that's not what we want. So we're going to make those knots disappear. As you can see, you can see where they, they tied the hair into the lace. And we're going to get rid of that. So now I'm going to pin all the hair up together. And you want to really make sure you get all of the hair 
away from where you're going to be putting the dye. Uh-oh, party fail. But you really want to make sure you get all the hair up. And I'm going to take that clip and just pin the hair out of the way. Now, you also don't want it to flip up like that. You want it to lay as flat as possible because we're going to lay this down on the foil once we get the bleach spread across the lace. Now, I'm going to take my mixture, the bleach, and I am going to spread a layer all over the lace. Everywhere that there's hair, I'm going to spread it. I am not pushing this in through the lace. Again, we don't want to dye the hair. We only want to bleach the knots so that they don't look as prominent and you can't see where the hair is tied into the lace. Now, even though I am speeding this part up, please believe me when I tell you, you need to take your time. And honestly, my dumb self should have on some gloves doing this because if you get this bleach on your hands, you go now because it's going to burn. But please take your time. Again, make sure that you are covering the entire lace. Make sure you're covering everywhere that there is hair or where there are not set so that you can get a very natural look. And do not press this into the hair. You only want to make sure you're covering the knots, not pressing it into the hair where you're going to bleach the hair. Okay, so now as you can see, I have the entire part of where the hair is tied into the lace. I have all of that covered. And I'm just going to lay that down, lace side down onto the aluminum foil. That's going to help process the bleach and help dye the knots. And I'm just checking to make sure that none of the bleach came through the lace. And to make sure that it is pressed down firmly onto the foil without it coming through. Once I have thoroughly checked and made sure that none of the bleach is coming through the lace and that it is pressed down firmly, I'm going to leave this on the foil for about 20 minutes. I recommend that you start with about 10 minutes and then check it to see and make sure it's not coming through and making sure that it's not really dyeing your roots or bleaching your roots. But about 20 minutes is how long I'm going to leave this on this hair because honestly, this hair did not take bleach very well. I actually had to go back and re-bleach it all over again. Once that time is up, I'm going to rinse the bleach off of the lace and I'm just using lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold. And I'm just rinsing the bleach off first, making sure all the hair stays out of the way. Now, once that's rinsed off here, I just want to show you guys the difference between not bleaching versus bleaching your knots. So now you see how natural it looks versus when I first took it out of the pack. You might can see a little bit of an orange tint to the lace now. And this purple shampoo is actually going to get rid of that. I don't know the science behind it, but purple offsets orange. Don't ask me why, but it is. So I'm going to lather that all over the lace. Then I'm going to rinse it out. Then I'm going to add another coat of the purple shampoo and let that sit for about five minutes before I rinse it out again. And I'm making sure I get all the way through the root of the hair, the lace, everything to make sure I get rid of that orange tint. Once that five minutes is up, I'm just going to rinse that out with some cool water and condition this. To make sure that it is nice and luxurious. And that's it, you guys. That's really all it takes to bleach the knots of your frontals. It's not a hard process. It's really not that long of a process, honestly. But you do need to make sure you take your time. So, 
If this is your first time watching a Time to Clean video, I welcome you to join the Calvary. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell as well so that you don't miss the next time I upload more awesome content. Until next time, guys, it's time to clean.